how to create custom app icons on iOS 16. Now, this is a very similar process as it has been in iOS 15 and even iOS 14, but it is slightly different. So I figured I would do a updated video showing you guys how to create these custom icons. Now, quickly, before we get into the tutorial, I do want to mention that information on this theme can be found at the link in the description. And also the wallpaper is available there as well. Uh, it is just a post to my website, which is a step-by-step -step guide uh, for creating these custom icons. So you can find the wallpaper and the theme information there. So it is the top link at the, in the description. So be sure to check that out if you guys want either of these. But anyways, to create a custom icon on iOS 16, what we're gonna do is go into the shortcuts application and we're gonna create one. It's really quite easy. You click the plus button in the upper right. You do add action. We're gonna do scripting, open app. We're gonna choose the app we want the custom icon to open. Uh, just for example, I'm just gonna do the messages application. And then here's where it's a little different to add the icon to the home screen. You have to click the little eye at the bottom with the circle around it. So click on that and you can see the option to add to home screen. So go ahead and click on that. And this is where we can choose a photo from our uh, photo albums or from our files application. For those of you that have been subscribed for a while, you know that I have a huge library of awesome themes in my files application. So I'm gonna jump in there. And this is Raspberry. This is a different theme. We're gonna go into Killa by Themes on Fire. So let me go ahead and find that theme and then we will choose a uh, icon to use for the messages app from here. I'm just gonna pick one at random. I don't wanna search too long. We'll do, we'll do the Apex Legends icon for messages. And at this point you can rename it to messages if you want or if you want a cleaner look, you can just delete the name and keep it blank. That's what I like to do. And at this point you can just click add and add it to the home screen. And there you go, you now have a custom icon for your messages application. That's how I have done all of these icons on the home screen. And as you can see, when we click it, it does open up my messages app. Now, for those of you that have been around for a while, again, you would know that in iOS 14 and in iOS 15, there was a trick to get rid of that banner that you get when you open a custom icon. Uh, that is no longer working in iOS 16 at least on beta one. This is iOS 16 beta one. Apple might change this throughout the betas before official release to the public. If they do, I will do an updated video on how to get rid of that annoying banner pop-up that you get. Now also I want to mention that we can jump back into the shortcuts application and that shortcut that we created for uh, the app icon to open up messages we can select that and delete that. We do not need the shortcut anymore. We just needed the app icon. So now you can do that. That way all of your shortcuts are not getting cluttered up with a bunch of random icons. So now that I have deleted the actual shortcut, you will see that the app icon still opens up the messages app. And that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you can create custom app icons on iOS 16. Again, wallpaper and theme information link in the description. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys wanna see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.